my name is Megan Scott, and I am with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention Out of the Darkness Walk. We're kind of just getting closer and closer to the spring season, which I'm sure is good news for a lot of people, but there are still those impacts that are felt. And so what are some of the big changes that tend to happen with us mentally when it comes to the change of seasons? We actually went something like... 21 days without sunshine, um, which is just terrible for um, mental health and um, your your mood and um, all of that because you you really need that vitamin D and 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 the sunshine for for mental health. People oftentimes when they hear all these tips, they often say, "Well, it's going to be." my key to being perfect when it comes to my mental health. And I think that we should really just strive for being okay with our mental health. And so the tips, yeah. are, you know, light exercise, dieting, and really just putting yourself out there are always going to be helpful. But in the world that we live in, it definitely can also be challenging because endless commitments. And then of course, technology as well. And so how do people successfully realize that I'm going to need a break right now? And how do they advocate for it? Yeah. So even though I talk about the crazy routine that I do, there are days that I may not go. Uh, and I give my, I forget, like I give myself that. Okay. Right. Um, I, there are days when I go and I just do some stretching. Uh, I don't do a full cardio strength training, like my whole routine. Um, and I think it's important to listen to your body physically, but also your body emotionally, uh, mentally to know like where you're at. Right. Um, and it's interesting that you mentioned, um, social media. Am I okay looking through Facebook today? And if you say, "Mm, I don't know that I want to look at Lindsay and her perfect three kids and marriage. And so, um, I'm gonna, you know, not look at Facebook today. Um, There's been times, um, and I haven't been so successful at it, where I just delete the app off my phone, um, even for a couple days or whatever. You know, the other thing that it's important to have is a good tight circle. We often talk about kids in this conversation, but I think oftentimes adults can underestimate their role in this because if the guardian is constantly focused on perfection and seeing what other people are doing, then the kids are going to do the same. You don't know what what's going on behind those closed doors. And it's important to remember to never compare yourself to anyone or anything else. Because again, you just, you don't know what, what's going on in someone else's world or, or life, because you just, you don't. Um, and um, it's only important to be accountable to you. For sure. In the state of Ohio, and this is something that's just been an issue even before the pandemic, but was only made worse by the pandemic was the fact that we had a lot of increases with regard to suicides. And so the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, obviously that's your bread and butter is prevention and really connecting people with resources. The state of Ohio recently released its own report about its plan. And so have you guys seen that report and what exactly are the key takeaways to really just make progress in this issue? Yeah. So Governor DeWine did come out with a, he, uh, I don't, I don't know if he's put out like an actual percentage, but he would like to decrease, um, help with mental health and decrease the incidence of suicide. He, and I think this is great, really wants to focus on the local level, um, as well as the state level. Um, and so, um, I think that that is so important because you're more likely to go to, a local therapist or a local doctor. And we're doing more events. Um, we're gonna. We are always looking for volunteers. You know, while we're doing more events, um, some of the things we do to promote ourselves is, uh, and this is one of my favorite things, is we we do like every parade in the area, <laughs> and we walk in them. And if you've ever been to any kind of the local parades and you see a big blow up unicorn, that's us. One thing people are oftentimes looking for, especially when things get tough, is hope. That light at the end of the tunnel, even though it's a cliche, it really is just a great way of putting it. 
that light at the end of the tunnel. And so what would be your bit of hope that you can offer people? Because yeah, times definitely can seem dark, but if there is anything that they can find, what would you say it is? I honestly think it's different for every person. For some people, it's faith. Um, For some people, it is family. Um, For some people, it's their pets, right? Um, I think you have to identify that and and hold on to it. And it's the consistency. And you you just have to find just that little bit and then just keep building on it. So... For sure. And not that this was planned, but it also comes down to your heart too. I mean, I think that we oftentimes tend to live in a world where we really do question everything, but also if we all just, it just went into things with good intentions too. I mean, it could mean so much to anyone going through anything as well, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. 